Well, King, you really know how to show a girl a good time. It was just dinner and a movie. How was I to know that he'd get upset? Big Hugh's got a thing about guys dating his girl. There's not much we can do now, Joe. Well, Rita, how about one for the road? Did you hear that? Hear what? Sparky? You know him? Don't just stand there, guys. We gotta get out of here before Big U catches on. Too late. I'm one step ahead of you. Gentlemen, kill them. Hey, watch where you put those hands, Buster. Get them, and I want them dead. This time. That was close. I gotta hand it to you, King. You certainly know how to end the night with a bang. Shoot. I almost forgot. I have to pick up Faye Russell, the famous movie star, in less than eight hours. Let's go, Sparky. Will I ever see you again? Only if you're lucky. <laughs> Anderson, what are you doing here? And where's Miss Russell? You fool, King! Did you really think that I would let you fly Faye Russell, the most beautiful actress of our time, into the Amazon jungle? Uh, um... Well, yeah, I won the contract fair and square. <laughs> You're more gullible than I imagined. Quit kidding, Anderson. I gotta fly her out before the storm hits. I got my plane all gassed up and ready to go. Not this time, King. I will have the money and the girl. But, but she's my favorite actress. Besides, if I don't get the money, I could lose my plane. That's less competition for Flying Dutchman Airlines. I will fly Faye to the Amazon for her photo shoot. And I will get all the glory. Soon, I will rule the skies! Hey, you can't do that. I just did. Now try and get out of this one, King. See you later! I've got a plane to catch! <laughs> It's locked. <sighs> My one chance to meet the most beautiful actress in all the world has just been shot down in flames. And here I am trapped in a cheap theater hotel in downtown Rio. Guess I should try and find a way out of here. Wow, it could be a pirate chest full of treasure. But knowing my luck, it's probably full of linen.
there. That should do the trick. Great, just what I need, a box of rubber tools. I'd rather leave it here. Along to Miss Lola. Oh, sorry. Hello. I'm Mike Larris, the bellboy. How may I help you? About that key on your desk? Yeah, what about it? I need to borrow it for a while. Sorry, pal. But that key belongs to Miss Lola. Unless you're a friend of hers, I can't let you have it. About that key again. What do you want now? I'm Lola's friend. She asked me to get it for her. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? Feel free to take the key anytime. Thanks. It fits! Uh, hello, Lola. Well, 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 if it isn't Joseph King. Lola, I need your help. Yeah? So what else is new? This is serious. Can you help me? That depends. What do you want? Addison's goons have me trapped here. And I suppose you want me to help you escape. 
Well, yeah. Why should I help you, Joe? It took me a long time to forget what you did to me. Look, I'm sorry for what I did in the past. So you should be. Get me a towel, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Lola. You're the best. I'd rather leave it here. Well, what do you know? I just found a towel. Here's your towel, Lola. Thanks. You want to get out of this dump? Well, I've got a plan. What sort of plan? Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. Found what? You can use this dress as a disguise. Here. Thanks. You know, Lola, I won't forget this. Yeah, right. Well, you better get out of here. I've got a show in ten minutes and I ain't dressed yet. Okay, let's get out of here. You called for me, Dr. Einstein? Yes. I want you to witness the testing of my dino ray. With it, I can turn humans into dinosaur people. Watch as I demonstrate. Now to activate the machine. Amazing! She transformed into a monster before my very eyes. You've seen nothing yet. Observe as I activate the aggression enhancer. Soon she will be a quivering, snarling mass of dinosaur terror. She doesn't look very menacing. <laughs> That's just a, a minor a technical problem. I'll soon have it fixed. Unfortunately, she was my last specimen. I need more Amazon women. Then I can create a dinosaur army to take over the world. <laughs> Sparky, we gotta get to the airport. Hey, that wasn't Lola. That was Clue. 
Let's get him! Thanks for waiting around, Sparky. Uh oh Rico and Eddie are hot on our heels. Wait a minute, there's something under here. It's time for an oil change. Let's get to the airport. Well, uh, Ms. Russell, everything seems to be in order. You may board the plane. Finally! I've been waiting here for ages. My time is money. You got that? Yes. Whatever you say. Let's uh, go now, shall we? Hold it right there, Anderson. Huh? Who are you? It's uh, nobody, Faye. Now just get on the plane. I'm Joe King, owner and pilot of this plane. I thought you said it was yours. Don't listen to him, Faye. You couldn't pilot your way out of a paper bag. You got some nerve, Anderson. And a bigger chin. Now get out of my sight while you still can. You may have a big chin, but you got no backbone. You better quit while you're ahead, King, or I'll get nasty. Oh yeah? You ain't seen nothing yet. Why do you hit him? He had it coming to him, Miss Russell. Nobody takes customers away from the Amazon Queen. Hmm. I thought he was kind of cute. Joe! Let me guess. This guy is going to say he's the owner of the plane, right? No, Miss Russell. This is my pal Sparky, the Queen's mechanic. We've got to get a move on. There's a big storm brewing. Well, I think it's time we got this show on the road. It's not my fault. Yeah, right. We were hit by lightning. What could I do? I don't want to hear excuses. Just get us out of this mess, okay? It's too big to carry. I'll leave it here. I just found a knife and a lighter. How are things, Sparky? It could be better, Joe. The plane is pretty badly damaged. What supplies do we have? Just about everything's been water damaged, including my new Commander Rocket comic. 
I got some beef jerky if you're feeling hungry. I'm starved. I'd love some beef jerky. Here you go, Joe. Don't eat it all at once, or you could end up like me. Addicted to a fattening beef byproduct? No, just slightly on the larger size. Though I have lost some weight lately, but that's probably because we haven't had a paying customer for months. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I just found one of your comic book coupons. Is it the Commander Rocket Authentic Secret Pocket Rocket Decoder Ring coupon? That's the one. Unfortunately, it's all soggy. Gosh darn it. That page was from my new Commander Rocket comic, which means the rest of the comic must have been damaged in the crash. Sorry, pal. You might as well keep it, Joe. I'll try and get a new one later. One that's in mint condition. Here you go, fishies. I don't want to cut that. That should do the trick. Hey guys, hop on board. I'm gonna row this lily pad to the bank. Is this safe? Maybe you'd rather stay in the plane? I think I'll risk the lily pad. Okay guys, I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm gonna try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call too. You're going to need him when we get out of this mess. Ha ha ha. I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. Yes, Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What sort of favor? Well, if you find the shop, could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of Commander Rocket vs. the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. Okay, Sparky. I'll have a look. But I can't guarantee anything. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe. Squawk! What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Quack! Uh oh! Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh oh! Quack! Oh! Oh! Squawk! Hey, you can talk. Squaw! Uh, help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Ow! <whistles> Ow! Oh, Squaw! Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Squaw! I'm being held captive. You must save me. Ow! 
What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squat! Oh, help me, Trader Bob! You're my only hope! Uh oh! Squat! Hey, come back here! That's just great. I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light. I'm already carrying that. I'm already carrying that. The bridge isn't safe enough to cross. Um, hi. I'm joking. Oop, oop, oop. Did a parrot come through here recently? Chonga, <laughs> chonga. I guess that's uh no. Chonga. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. Unga. <laughs> Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't you? Uh huh. Unga, unga, gorilla. I thought gorillas came from Africa. <laughs> Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. This is South America. You shouldn't be here. Gee, you're right. I guess I'd better get going then. How freaky. A phantom primate.
That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you going to do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. Hi, I'm Joe King. Sorry, I don't understand. I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. We meet again, my fine feathered friend. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I run this shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King, Joe King, pilot for hire. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine, and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? I'm not interested. I've got my own problems. Oh yeah? Princess Azura's life depends on us finding her. What could be more important than that? My rival is trying to run me out of business. That ain't so bad. You've still got your health. Princess Azura may not live to see another day. Rescue her and your reward will buy you a new plane. I'm a pilot for hire, not a detective. And I'm the owner of an authentic native village and 24-hour convenience store. Sometimes we gotta do things that we never planned on doing. Why do you need my help? Can't you do it yourself? The people I suspect of kidnapping Azura know me as her friend. They'd be very suspicious if I showed up snooping around. No one in the jungle knows who you are. Okay, I'll help. Fill me in on the details. Great. I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a lederhosen company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Floda kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Floda has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What's the Lederhosen company doing in the Amazon? Exactly. From what I can tell, 
the later hosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. What exactly is lederhosen? Lederhosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floater on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe, and if you need any more help, just ask. Excuse me, Bob. What can I do for you? I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? Thanks for answering my questions. Hey, no problem. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Howdy, Bob. Hello again, Joe. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? Thanks for answering my questions. Hey, no problem. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl cuts. There's nothing wrong with bowl cuts. I guess not, but I would like to try something different every now and again. Is hairstyling a family tradition? Sort of. My great-grandfather used to take a little off the top, if you know what I mean, until he ran out of customers. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight, and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. How come you're nervous about your date tonight? Oh... It's no big deal. Bob gave me some perfume, which I was going to wear tonight. But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. He was drunk for a whole week. Hmm, that explains the alluring aroma when we first met. I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened. And I know he'll be expecting me to wear the perfume. What am I going to do? If I find some perfume, will you trade some stuff in the store for it? I'm sorry. But I'm not allowed to do that. But I could trade you something of mine. Like my trusty hairdressing scissors, for example. I'll keep that in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Thanks. Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy. So they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. Thanks for your time. That's okay. You look a little hungry. I've got some beef jerky. Would you like some? You bet I would. I'll even pay for it. That's okay. You can have it for free. No, I insist. Here, have some money. Gee, thanks. No, thank you. Howdy, Bob. Hello again, Joe. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Hello there. I don't think it's going to talk to me. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this thing. That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son. 
It's actually an experimental self-powered model. Self-powered? Aha! Uh -huh. It's got a built-in battery or something. It'd be worth a fortune in the city, but it's useless here in the jungle. Well, I'm sure I can find a use for it. Here's some money. It's all yours, son. Nice doing business with you. Hey, no problem. Has there been any success in finding the Crystal Skull? Uh, not yet, Dr. Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. I must have that skull soon! It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. And to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly! And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. Then I shall rule the world! <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Hi, my name's Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Skip. Jungle Explorer and Comic Collector. What comic book were you reading? Commander Rocket vs. The Mob. It's really good. I've got every issue of the comic. I even have number one sealed in plastic and buried in my backyard. My friend loves reading Commander Rocket. Another Rocket fan right here in the jungle. What a small world. Here's a message for him in Commander Rocket code. G-S-R-H-R-H-Z-H-V-X-I-V-G-N-V-H-H-Z-T-V. My friend has every issue of Rocket but one. Really? Which one is he missing? The one where he battles the Chicago mob. That's the very comic that I've got here. I've got a spare copy at home. If you want, you can have this one. Thanks. This'll make Sparky's day. I'm sure it will. I understand how important this'll be to your friend. I gotta go now. Goodbye! Okay, doll. Tell us where your pops hidden the Model X7 atomic brain o tubes, and we'll let you go. Never! 
leaping lizards. Professor Harbuckle was right. Those thugs have kidnapped his daughter, Stacy. Smash! Oh no, it's Commander Rocket. Get him, boys. Zap! Zap! Oof! What did you do to them? I immobilized them momentarily with my atomic stun gun. We have no time to lose. Jumping jackrabbits! My rocket pack is out of gas! Bleep! Bleep! Looks like I picked the wrong day to quit the bottle! Bada 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 That's very potent alcohol you have there! It just might work in my rocket pack! Hey, go easy with that stuff! It costs money! Eat lead, rocket! Butter 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 It's from the Commander Rocket comic and has a coupon clipped from it. There's some sort of blueprint on the back of it. It's from the Commander Rocket comic and has a coupon clipped from it. There's some sort of blueprint on the back of it. Okay, doll. Tell us where your pops hid in the Model X-7 atomic brain o tubes and we'll let you go. Never! Leaping lizards! Professor Harbuckle was right! Those thugs have kidnapped his daughter, Stacy! Smash! Oh no! It's Commander Rocket! Get him, boys! Zap! Zap! Oof! What did you do to them? I immobilized them momentarily with my atomic stun gun. We have no time to lose. Jumping jackrabbits. My rocket pack is out of gas. Bleep bleep. Looks like I picked the wrong day to quit the bottle. Bada 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 bada. That's very potent alcohol you have there. It just might work in my rocket pack. Hey, go easy with that stuff. It costs money. Eat lead, rocket. Butter, 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 Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Bud, and my friend here is Skip. We're explorers. Boy, it's hot here. Is it always this hot? You bet it is. It's so hot that you can chafe and end up with a rash. Just like I have. I tell you, a rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. Gee, if I find one, I'll let you know. Thanks. That pretty bug really has that fish jumping. That pretty bug really has that fish jumping. That pretty bug really has that fish jumping. Hey, I know you, don't I? I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life.
That's a costume you've got on, isn't it? No, this is my authentic dinosaur skin. It's a little baggy because I'm starting to shed. It's a costume. I can see the stitches. Those aren't stitches. They're worry lines. If you're a dinosaur, then why aren't you extinct? Because I eat a balanced diet and exercise regularly. I know who you are. You're the gorilla I saw earlier. No, I'm not. I'm a vicious dinosaur. Now leave me alone or I'll be forced to eat you. That poor disguise doesn't fool me. You're an ape. Okay, you found me out. I am the gorilla you met earlier. Now if you don't mind, I've got to keep guarding this log. You don't get out of it that easy. I've got some questions that need answers. Do you have to keep bothering me? What do you want to know? How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. Would you disappear again if I said you don't exist? Maybe. But of course, you'd have to say that I don't exist. And you wouldn't really want to do that, would you? Sorry, pal, but you don't exist. Thanks a lot, bud. I have the strangest feeling of deja vu. Hi there, my name's Joe. Howdy, Joe. I'm Mary Lou Cook. My husband Jimmy and I run this mission. Why is your husband lecturing that monkey? Oh, he thinks he's an anthropologist or something. He's conducting an experiment to see how smart the monkeys are. How smart are the monkeys? They're smart enough to keep Jimmy supplying them with bananas. If he keeps them here much longer, they'll have to go on diets. I'd say he's more a zoologist than anthropologist. Yeah, whatever. At least the monkeys keep him busy. Has he made any breakthroughs yet? I don't get too involved with his work. So you'd have to ask him about that. I have my own things to do. I've heard enough. Thanks. That's okay. I'll talk to you later. Oh, darn it. I'm really getting fed up with this nail file. It's almost worn out. Hi, I'm Joe King. Howdy, boy. The name's Jimmy Cook. Welcome to our humble mission. It's our own little slice of heaven. Do you know where I could find a phone? Hmm, that's a tough one. The only place I can think of is the Flota Leader Hosen Factory. You can find them over beyond the pinnacle. This looks more like a zoo than a mission. Hey, I happen to like animals. In my spare time, I'm a zoologist. Last month, I studied sloths. This month, I'm studying monkeys. Do the monkeys have names? Well, they sure do. This one here is called Bonzo. The one in the middle is Cheetah. And the one in the pirate hat's called Bubbles. What exactly is a sloth? A sloth is a tree-climbing edentate mammal found in Central and South America. They're slow-moving, hairy, and have little or no teeth. That sounds a lot like my grandfather. Your grandfather climbs trees? What do they eat if they have no teeth? Well, they eat stuff that doesn't require chewing. 
The species in this jungle has a particular liking for sweet nectar. I never thought sloths could be so interesting. I know what you mean. Once you begin studying them, you find it hard to stop. Truly one of God's finest creations. I think I know enough about sloths. You can never know enough. I've got some more animal questions. Sure thing. Fire away. Does Mary Lou help you in your animal research? Nope, I'm afraid not. She's more concerned with manicuring than science. Nice talking to you. Oh, bless you, my son. I hate heights. That's taking care of them. I think I hear someone coming. I better hide. Hail, sister. Hail! Did you hunt well? Yes. Tonight we will feast on roast sloth and native berries. Excellent, my palate tingles in anticipation. You may enter the fortress. Wow, real Amazons.
It doesn't seem to open. Well, here goes nothing. Just my luck. A trap. You're in big trouble now, mister. Men are not allowed here. Come with me. Hey, let me out of here. Oh, great. Now I'm stuck in some stupid jail. Excuse me? Uh, yeah? Where am I? Uh... <laughs> You're in the... Amazon's Dungeon! Amazon's Dungeon? That's bad. Isn't it? Bad? No, that's good! What's so good about being in an Amazon Dungeon? You really don't know, do you? The Amazons are a tribe of all women warriors. They need outside males to help keep their tribe populated. Know what I mean? What exactly will the Amazons do to us? Well, they won't harm you. On the contrary, you'll be fed and clothed. But in return, they require certain services. Services that only men can give. Do you mean handyman work? Yeah, short of. You'll see. How long have you been here? Hmm. Now let me see. Ah, uh, about two days. Two days? You look like you've been here for years. Uh, yeah. It's all the hard work that we have to do. It makes us look older. I think I've heard enough. Okay, I'll get back to my puppet show. Excuse me. Yes? Nice hand puppet you have there. You really think so? Yeah, I like the one with the stick. That ain't a stick. That's a baseball bat. It's not a baseball bat. It's a stick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is a baseball bat. Hey, that looks like the one my puppet has. Why do I bother? Seeing that you're so interested in it, I'll let you have it. I don't want it. You don't want it? I'll have it. You ain't getting it. My new friend here is gonna have it. Thanks, but I'll pass on the sock. Just take it. I don't want it. You know you want it. Really, I don't want it. Of course you do. Now take it. I don't want the stupid thing. Take it. For the last time, I don't want it. I'll have it. Why don't you shut up? Now take the puppet before I change my mind. Are you deaf? I don't want the stupid hand puppet! Is that it? You're gonna hurt my feelings just like that? For crying out loud, it's just a puppet. Fine. I extend the hand of friendship. And you bite it. All right already. I give in. I'll take it. I know you wanted it. Anything to shut you up. You said I could have it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. Did too. That's it. I ain't talking to you no more. Oh, yeah? Well, I ain't talking to you no more. What did I do to deserve this? Ahem. <clears throat>
Well, look who we have here. Faye? If it isn't Joseph King. I should have known you were the cause of this racket. What are you doing here? After you abandoned me at the crash site, I decided to find help myself. I came across a tribe of Amazon women who've been kind enough to feed and shelter me. Boy, am I glad to see you. I bet you never thought you'd say that. It's about time you started to appreciate me. Well, are you going to get me out of here? That depends. Are you going to apologize for all the trouble you caused me? Okay, I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. You don't sound sincere enough. Try that apology again. Okay, I'm really, really sorry. Will you forgive me? I might forgive you. Okay, you're forgiven. Just don't do it again. By the way, there's someone here who wants to see you. Follow me! I've just been cooped up in some smelly dungeon. What's going on around here? Joe, this is the head of the Royal Amazon Guard. Tell him your story. We are very sorry to have had to use force to bring you here, but we had no other choice. You could have tried a telegram. Our princess is in grave danger. We believe that she was captured by the evil man at Floda. Your princess? You don't mean Azura, do you? Trader Bob has told me all about her. He has? You already know about her? Of course I do. I am a man of many talents. Yeah, right. So are you going to help rescue the princess? Hey, I'm working on it already. You are? Joe, I don't know what to say. Well, you could say something nice for a change. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, you haven't been the nicest person since we crashed. What do you expect? My career is on the line here. Hey! So is mine. Sorry to interrupt, but we are wasting precious time. Perhaps you could put your differences aside for one moment. I will, if she will. <laughs> oh, all right. Good. Well, I guess I'd better go and rescue the princess then. Thank you, Joe. Good luck in your mission. Yeah, Joe. Good luck. I guess I'd better find that princess.
Well, Sparky, I've been all over the jungle, and I finally found you a copy of Commander Rocket. Here. Thanks, Joe. Now, as a reward, you can give me one of your files. Uh, Joe? Yes? Someone's clipped a coupon from the back page. Yeah, so? Well, it's not exactly mint condition, is it? Sparky, it's just a comic book for crying out loud. But I'm a comic book collector. It has to be in mint condition, otherwise it's worthless. I don't believe this. No offense, Joe, but I might get a new copy when we get back home. You can keep this one. I don't want the stupid comic. I want a file. Oh, you can have that, too. Finally. Next time, you can get your own comics. Hello again. Hello, Joe. Who did you set the mission up for? Those monkeys. <laughs> Are very funny. We were trying to teach the native pygmies. But they ran away. Are you guys qualified teachers? Of course we are. We spent 17 years in Arkansas teaching Sunday school. What do you teach there? Grizzly bears? Now you're just being silly. Teaching grizzly bears? Heck no. We taught raccoons. Nice talking to you, but I gotta go. Okay. Maybe we can chat some more later. Dang, this nail file is annoying me. I think I've just about worn it out. I don't have any reason to give it to her. Hello again. Hello, Joe. I'd like to ask you some more questions. By all means, go right ahead. How did you talk to the native pygmies? I've got an English to pygmy dictionary. I'll swap you for your dictionary. Hmm, what have you got to swap? Would you like another nail file? It's not worn out, is it? No, it's brand new. Hmm. Okay, you've got a deal. I'll swap. Good. I'm glad we could come to some arrangement. So am I.
Hello, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Greetings, Joe King. I am the chief of this pygmy village. How may I be of service? I've read about you guys in National Enquirer. It was an honest mistake. We were young. We were naive. We were in love. We were giddy with joy. We were drunk. Besides, she never said she was the governor's wife. Did I say National Enquirer? I meant National Geographic. Oh, yeah, right. Of course. Look, just forget what I said, okay? <laughs> nice talking to you, Chief. Always a pleasure, Joe. Hello, I'm Joe King. You must be the witch doctor. That's correct. What do you want? Do you cast spells on people? And ruin their lives? Hey, I'm a doctor, not a lawyer. It sounds like you don't like lawyers. Yeah, they give me indigestion. What are you doing? I'm mixing up some potions for the villagers. Can I help you make some potions? Sorry, kid. This is a highly complicated magic I'm doing here. You just sit back and watch. Do you use natural ingredients? Of course I do. There's nothing artificial in my potions. I use leaves, flowers, tree roots, anything that Mother Nature will supply. Could you make me a rash cure? It's for a friend of mine. A friend, huh? <laughs> well, I need the following ingredients. The hair of a slow-moving climber, milk from a sacred site, and something else to give it a little buzz. Is that all? That's it. Bring them to me, and I'll have you fixed up in no time. But it's for my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Thanks for the information. I'm happy to be of assistance. Nice talking to you. Goodbye. I found this orchid in the jungle. I thought you might like to give it to Naomi. Gee, thanks. Orchids are her favorite flower. You're a real lifesaver. We've got a date tonight and I hadn't found her a present yet. Now all I've got to do is find a good restaurant. Sorry, but I can't help you with that one. Naomi will really love this. Glad to help. I'm afraid I can't pay you for it. Oh. But I can offer you one of these fishing nets here. Ah, that will do nicely, I guess. I better hide it so she doesn't see it before our date tonight. <laughs> well, I hope you get lucky in finding a restaurant, that is. <laughs> I'm sure we'll manage. I 
you sure it's okay for me to take one of these nets? Sure thing, son. You're a special customer now. Gee, thanks, Bob. My pleasure. Excuse me, Naomi. Yes, Joe? We were talking earlier about you needing some perfume. Uh-huh. Well, I'm about to make your day. Here's an expensive French fragrance. Joe, you're such a sweet guy. All I have to offer you are my hairdressing scissors. They'll do fine. I'm sure I can put them to good use. Well, I can rest easy about tonight now. Another Faye Russell calendar. I'm sick of them. I have an idea. If I put the flower on this branch, it might lure him closer. Now to wait. Gee, I wonder what Joe is doing right now. Probably something exciting. That was painful. This won't hurt a bit.
Hey there, little fella. Wouldn't you rather have this banana instead of that boring coconut? That's a good boy. Here's one of the ingredients that you need. Excellent! All I need is two more ingredients and you will have a rush cure. I don't want to cut that. Here's another one of the ingredients that you need. Excellent! All I need is the final ingredient and you will have a rush cure. I have the final ingredient that you need. Ah! Some wasps! This ought to give the lotion a little buzz. You have done well. Now I can prepare the lotion. Unga putana. Unga na puntan. Chunga, utani chunga. What on earth are you doing? I'm asking the gods to bless my medicine. Now if you don't mind, putani chunaga. Chunga, utani chunga. Wow, that's pretty neat. Ah. Uh -huh. This medicine should cure your rash. Thanks very much. By the way, it's my friend who has the rash. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's what they all say. Well, I've got other work to do, so goodbye. Hello, it's me again. I just wanted to say thanks for the lotion. That, that. Nice talking to you. Goodbye.
Excuse me, bud. Yes? I found a cure for your rash. A cure? How can I ever thank you? Well, money would be nice. Oh, yeah. Here's a lot of money. Don't spend it all at once. I'd like to buy this record. Certainly. Do you have enough money? I sure do. Here you go. It's all yours, son. Thanks. Nice doing business with you. Easy boy. I'll uh, just be on my way. They got him trained well. I was wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? I'm curious. What are you guys doing in the jungle? Um, ah, uh, we have a lederhosen factory. We make lederhosen for export to Europe. Who are you anyway? Are you the fumigator? I'm the fumigator. Ah, I see you have your equipment with you. Do all the rooms except for the library. We don't want you to find any secret passages. What secret passages? I must be losing my mind. I meant spicy parmesan. Yes, stay away from the library because that's where we store our cheese. What are you doing in my kitchen? What are you doing? I'm right in the middle of performing brain surgery. What does it look like I'm doing? Gee, take it easy, pal. I just wanted to know what you were cooking. I'm trying to make the doctor his lunch, but his sensitive teeth make him real fussy about what he eats. I tell you, he's driving me nuts. I'm here for kitchen duty. What? 
You're not Henry. Who are you? I'm the fumigator. I'd like to spray the kitchen. Oh, fat chance, Buster. I got a deadline to meet, so quit bugging me. That's you again. Didn't I tell you to get out already? Any luck in making the doctor his lunch? Not at all. I have no idea what to serve someone who has extra sensitive teeth. And you hassling me is no help. This is a waste of time. You're telling me! Now beat it! It's you again. Didn't I tell you to get out already? This is a waste of time. You're telling me! Now beat it! Excuse me. I'm a busy man, you know. I think I have some food that you could safely give the doc. Oh yeah? What is it? A banana. It's soft and mushy and low on calories. Here. This is just what I need. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. I have to take this to doc right away. Keep an eye on my kitchen while I'm gone.
beef and anchovy flavor. I can't imagine a dog eating this. That should do the trick. There's a letter inside. It's addressed to Private John. Looks like a girl's handwriting. I don't think I'd have any use for that. What do you know? I just found some money. I'm rich! Ah, sweet music. Secret elevator. Swell. Going down. That doesn't seem to work. Well, what do you know? I just found a can opener. Hi, I'm Joe King, fumigator for hire. What are you doing? Hello, Joe, I'm John. It's my job to guard this corridor. I have to keep a lookout for unauthorized persons. If you see anyone that shouldn't be here, let me know, okay? I have a letter here addressed to Private John. It must be for you. Yeah, I've been expecting some mail for the last month. Well, your wait is over. Here's your letter. Oh, joy! It's from my girlfriend. I'm happy for you. I can't wait to find out what she's been doing. Dear John, thank you for your letter. Things have been very busy here at home. I've been working late shifts at the hospital and... I don't know how to break this to you, but I've met a nice young doctor on the night shift. 
We get along wonderfully, and he treats me really well. What I'm trying to say is, I like you very much, but I like him more. Sorry. Love. Chrissy. Are you okay? She's leaving me for a doctor! Ah! My little Chrissy has dumped me! Here's a memo about some legendary Valley of the Mists. It says, We are very confident that we have found the exact location of the valley. This is a notice to all staff. Please keep an eye out for more Amazons, as the doctor is getting low on specimens. Here's a shopping list. Scrambled eggs, jello, ice cream, bananas, cheese whiz, marshmallows, and whipped cream. At least, I think it's a shopping list. Memo. Due to the growing number of visits by missionaries asking for donations, we have installed reinforced security doors in the foyer. was hard work. It's closed. It's today's roster. It says Private John is assigned Corridor Patrol, Henry is to report to Colonel Jackson for kitchen duty, and Clunk is to guard Frank's office. Halt! This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? You're needed for kitchen duty. This isn't another one of John's practical jokes, is it? Just to be sure that you are telling the truth. Who is the commanding officer in charge of kitchen duties? Colonel Jackson. Colonel Jackson? How could I have forgotten? I was supposed to report to him half an hour ago. Well, you better hurry up and report to him then. I hope he isn't too upset. He seemed pretty steamed up. I'll be back later. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Staff, please note that smoking in munitions room is prohibited. No fraternizing with the dino women. By order, Dr. Einstein. Lost dog. Has mange, blind in one eye, missing back leg, and suffers incontinence. Answers to the name Lucky. Chef's lunch special. This week is beef and anchovy surprise.
Friday's film will be Triumph of the Lost Dog. Answers to the name. Staff, please note. No fraternizing with the dying. Staff, please note that smoking. No fraternizing with the dino women. Chef's lunch special. This week is beef and anchovy surprise. Excellent, my little dino friend. You successfully navigated the maze. Uh, greetings, Dr. Einstein. Anderson, I trust your flight from Rio was enjoyable? Uh, of course it was. I did the flying. What happened to your nose? Uh, I uh, ran into some uh, air turbulence on the way here. I thought you said the flight was good. Uh, yes, it was good, uh, except for the, um, turbulence. Well, I should hope you have less trouble flying my airship. Indeed, uh, Doctor. I'd like to thank you for choosing, uh, Flying Dutchman Airlines. I only use the best. If you don't mind me asking, what sort of creature is that? This small creature is a dino rat. A hybrid prehistoric beast with the intelligence of a rodent. It's the result of my earlier genetic experiments. You've done well. Your dino creature is escaping! Damn! Don't worry, Doctor. I'm sure your guards will retrieve it. The important thing is, your dino ray is a success. Indeed. Soon, I will make those dolts at the Science Academy sorry. Sorry that they ever laughed at me. Good heavens! It's their plan to take over the world using a race of dinosaur people. Hey, there's a key in here. I wouldn't have any use for an empty bottle. I don't think I'd have any use for that. I think I'd leave that alone. You can't keep me locked up like an animal? I am Princess Azura. I demand to be set free immediately. Hey, don't shout at me. I got nothing to do with your imprisonment. Who are you? I'm the, uh, I'm the fumigator. Aren't you a little short for a fumigator? Actually, I'm not really a fumigator. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire, and I'm here to rescue you. 
Well, don't just stand there. Let me out! How did you get your message to Wedgwood? He was with me when I was ambushed by the doctor's men. I gave him the message to deliver to Trader Bob. Lucky for me, he's an excellent mimic. Trader Bob is a mimic? No, Wedgwood is! <laughs> I'll be back soon. Hurry up. There you go, princess. You are free. Thank you, Joe. You saved my life. Hey, it ain't over yet. You call that a kiss? I hope Joe hasn't fallen into the midst of some dangerous jungle beast. It's been fun, but I think we should get out of here. They closed the security door and sounded the alarm. I can hear footsteps. It must be the guards. We've got to do something. Azura, I have an idea. What is it? I'll show you. I've searched everywhere. Where are they hiding? <laughs> Who's there? Those damn mannequins are so lifelike. I'm beginning to imagine they are real. They must have left the building before the security doors closed. They won't get far. I'll say. What now? Don't worry, Azura. I'll get us out of this mess. I know you will, Joe. Did you see the guard enter the door code? I didn't have a clear view of what he was doing. But I think he pressed the blue button. Then red, green, blue... Then, red again. Wow, that's a very impressive memory you have. Why, thanks, Jack. Ah, that's Joe. Yeah, whatever. Not a good idea. There could be guards on patrol. Not a good idea. There could be guards on patrol. I don't think I need that. That doesn't seem to work. It's locked. Here goes nothing. It worked. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. We must hurry back to my people. No, you go ahead. I'll stay here and make sure no one follows. Very well, Joe. I shall see you soon. I just hope I can find my way to her home.
going down. That should do the trick. Hey Clunk, are you feeling hungry? I'm always hungry. Have you got some food? Maybe. What is it? It's a... Uh, it's Chef Surprise. Mmm, I'd love some. Thanks. Here you go. <laughs> are you okay? I feel a, a, a little strange. That's probably the anchovies. Hi, I'm just doing some routine fumigating. Fumigating? Oh yes, I was briefed about you. You might as well move on. These rooms are off limit. You really think you're a tough guy, don't you? I know I'm a tough guy. I've had Doc Einstein's super soldier treatment. And I'm as tough as they come. I don't think you're tough. I think you're a weenie. What did you call me? You heard me the first time. You are a weenie. Oh yeah? Go ahead and punch me. Then you'll see how tough I am. Go easy on me. <laughs> Who's laughing now? There seems to be an indentation on the pad. It looks like the combination to a safe. I don't think anyone would mind if I tore this page out. Going down.
That should do the trick. I just found a padlock key and plans to some sort of gadget. These may come in handy. Hello, boy. I've got you a present. Here you go. It's this! There's something inside. It looks like a rocket pack. It's empty. He looks happy. Azura! You're safe! All thanks to you, Joe. And to show you how grateful I am, I have a reward for you. Thanks, but what is it? It's a Tyranno horn. It's been handed down from generation to generation. Is it worth anything? It's priceless. 
Doesn't look like it's worth very much. When blown, it makes the sound of an angry Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is a symbol of my people's strength. And now it is yours. Well, it's been fun, but I got other things to take care of, like getting my plane out of the river. Hold it right there, King. You know my name? I know all about you. Who are you? That's the evil Dr. Einstein! He's the man who kidnapped me! I followed you here after you escaped from my secret camp. I have this place surrounded by armed guards. What do you want with us? I have a little job for you, Mr. King. There is a crystal skull hidden deep within an ancient temple on Sloth Island. I would like you to find it for me. Why should I do that for you? Why? Because if you don't, I will transform every last one of your Amazon friends into dinosaur women. Don't listen to him, Joe! My first victim will be the beautiful Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do it. But what makes you think I can find the skull? You got past my security and rescued Azura. That was quite a feat. If anyone can find the skull, you can. Do I have your word that you will release the Amazons? Of course you do. I am a man of honor. Well, I guess I got a skull to find. I'll be back. Good luck, Joe. Things are really hot enough now. Um, sorry to bother you. I'm in the middle of bathing. What do you want? I gotta go. Good idea.
What do you want, mortal? I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. You are joking. What insolence. This is no time for levity. You sound upset, bud. What's the matter? It concerns you not, mortal. Now if you don't mind, I'm busy. Caught any big ones? I haven't caught anything. Now go away. You're scaring the fish. Are you fishing? No, I'm flying a kite. Of course I'm fishing. Look, the fish aren't biting, and I'm getting a little uptight. So would you please leave me alone? What sort of bait are you using? Bait? 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 What do you mean, bait? I think I know why you're not catching any fish. You need bait. How could I be so stupid? I've got the fishing rod, the fishing line, and the river full of fish. But I haven't got the bait. If I get you some bait, will you ferry me to Sloth Island? It's a deal, but I warn you, I better catch a fish, or I'll use you as bait. I found you some bait. Try this. Excellent. I finally caught a fish. Just let me know when you want to go to Sloth Island. Are the fish still biting? I've had a few nibbles. Will you take me to Sloth Island now? Oh, alright. You fulfilled your end of the deal. Okay, let's go! Thanks for the ride! That's okay, mortal. Be careful! <laughs> I will! What a nice guy. I guess I better find that skull. Thank you. 
Fits. I'm already carrying that. That doesn't seem to work. I'll just use one coin. Looks like I hit the jackpot. A secret passage. I better get the arm bone. It may come in handy. Ouch! What the? Before you may proceed, you must answer this riddle. What walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at noon, and three legs at dusk? What the heck are you? I am the Temple Guardian. I make sure that no one proceeds without answering my clever riddle. It's not a particularly clever riddle. Oh yeah? Then what's the answer, smarty pants? What was the question again? Don't you listen? What walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at noon, and three legs at dusk? It's me after a visit to Al's Bar and Grill. That's a very poor attempt at humor. I'll give you another go. What's the answer? I know. It's man in his three stages of life. Got it right. Man crawls as a baby early in his life, he walks upright in the middle of his life, and he walks with a walking stick in his later years. So I got it right. Now what? Well, now I can let you proceed through the temple. Only those worthy of the riddle may do so. And you are worthy. I like that riddle. Would you mind telling me what you are? I cannot answer your questions now, but if you survive the temple, then I will reveal all. Thanks for the riddle. I'll see you later. Only if you are good enough. Wow!
Hey! Hey, you! Come back here! I just want to know who you are! Talk about rude! Looks like he didn't get too far. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Who, what are you people? We are Prince Almac the Quattle's personal concubine. We are waiting for him to rest before we leave for the afterlife. How long have you been waiting here? I'd say about 300 years. Give or take a decade. How could you be over 300 years old? When Prince Almac the Quattle died, we were blessed by the Temple High Priest. We are to remain in physical form until the Prince is ready to leave for the other side. What are you gonna do when he wakes up? When the Prince awakens, we shall all begin the journey to the afterlife. There we shall serve him as his otherworldly concubine. Don't you think he's had enough rest by now? Hmm. It is a rather long time. Royalty often rests for a week before commencing the great journey. I think you've been gypped. I'd say the prince is long gone. Nonsense. He'd never leave his wives behind. At least, I don't think he would. I don't see any prince. Where is he? He's in the sarcophagus, sleeping. How do you know the prince is still in there? He may have left without you. Our prince would never do such a thing. We trust him. Prove to me he's still there. Open the sarcophagus. We don't have to prove anything to you. Now, if you don't mind, would you please go away? I don't like your attitude. And I don't like your nosy behavior. Now leave us alone. Excuse me? Yes? What do you want? I don't see any prince. Where is he? He's in the sarcophagus, sleeping. How do you know the prince is still in there? He may have left without you. Our prince would never do such a thing. We trust him. Prove to me he's still there. Open the sarcophagus. We don't have to prove anything to you. Now, if you don't mind, would you please go away? You're afraid he's not inside, aren't you? That is not true! Our prince is resting in the sarcophagus. I'll prove it to you. Open the sarcophagus! See! There is our sweet prince. Resting as I had predicted. Close the sarcophagus. How do you know he's still under all those rags? Give me a break, will you? Go bother some other zombies. We're busy. I hope the prince is wearing boxers. I've got some more questions. What is it that you want to know? I think you should open the sarcophagus again. Why on earth should I reopen it? Give me one good reason.
I pulled a pile of rags out of the sarcophagus. You did what? We'd better have a look inside then. Open the sarcophagus. What? He's gone? But how? Close that thing up. What did I tell you? Our sweet prince has left. He's gone into the afterlife without us. Gee, I feel so helpless. I wish there was something I could do. That rat. Wait until I get my hands on him. Okay, girls. We've got business to take care of. In the afterlife. Goodbye, Mr. King. Perhaps we will meet again. Uh, goodbye. Well, that's gotten rid of them. <clears throat> Looks like the prince left his crown behind. It'll make a swell souvenir. Phew, that was hard work. Phew! That should do the trick. Hey, over here! Oh, it's you again. Say, you're one of Doc Einstein's boys. What are you doing in that cage? I accidentally set off a trap I pulled when I should have pushed. Who are you? I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Your boss sent me here to find some crystal skull. Well, your search is over, Mr. King. My name is Ian, and I have what you are looking for right here with me. You do? Yes. Now, if you'll just help me out of this cage. We can both bask in glory when we return with the skull. How do I know I can trust you? Of course you can trust me. We are both on the same side, are we not? Besides, you'll need to release me to get the crystal skull. I gotta go now. Hurry up and rescue me, okay?
I think I just fried the hand puppet. It fits! Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. I can't see any way over there. The pulley isn't set up properly. It's too awkward to move with my bare hands. That should do the trick. Oops. 
like I hit pay dirt. It's closed. That should do the trick. You're lucky I didn't deep fry you, pal. I ain't afraid of no snakes. He was carrying an ID card and a strange piece of stone. I can't see any way over there. Anderson, I'll soon until the Zeppelin is ready. Very soon, Dr. Einstein. Excellent. Once I have the skull, we will fly into the valley. Then I can begin my reign of terror. <laughs> what about King? What do you plan to do with him? 
Don't worry, Anderson. I know how much you despise the man. Despise is probably too strong a word. I can assure you that he will never bother you again. Ever. Oh? Huh? We shall discuss this later. I have work to do. Soon, I will rule the world! <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? The doctor is insane. And he plans on killing Joe. Without him around, who will I gloat over? Hmm. On the other hand, I'll finally have him out of my hair. But then I'll have to live with his death on my conscience. Although Einstein is paying me good money, what a moral dilemma. What am I going to do? I have it! I have the big stick! But now what do I do with it? I ain't gonna walk through those heat rays. Nothing happened. I finally made it. About time. I'd almost given up hope. Just out of curiosity, uh, what's in the pit? I'll tell you what. Get me down from here and we can swap places. Then you can see for yourself. Where did you find the skull? It must have been hidden pretty good. You bet it was. Whoever built this temple certainly knew their craft. I had to use my superior intellect to find it. So, where did you find it? Um, it was hidden in a secret room, <laughs> resting on a stone pedestal. I had to solve a complex puzzle to pick it up without setting off any death traps. What sort of puzzle? Uh, a complicated one. It involved math. Look, you wouldn't understand, so let's drop it, okay? I've got an idea. Excellent! What is it? I'd like you to untie the rope tethering the cage. Don't be ridiculous. If I untie the rope, I fall into the pit. Not the rope that the cage is hanging from. The rope at your feet. Ah, of course. I knew that. There. Great stuff. Now I can set you free.
It worked. You're free. Excellent. You have done well. But I'm afraid this is where we part company. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Don't argue with me, King, or I will have to shoot you. But I saved your life. And I am returning the favor. If I happen across you again, I may not be so kind. So don't follow me. What a creep. Just great. I broke the crypt and my big stick. Holy cow! It's some sort of ceremonial death mask. This thing could be worth a fortune. No one will mind if I take it.
queue. Holy cow! It's Ian! He may have been an arrogant double-crossed piece of scum, but he didn't deserve to end up like this. That lion cheat. He didn't have the crystal skull at all. The only thing I found was a strange piece of rock. Everything else was flattened.
Whoa! I hope I don't have to pay for that. Not feeling that hungry. Hey there, little fella. I've got a snack for you.
is something strangely familiar about these markings. Wait a second. The writing in the dictionary matches. Let's see if I can translate. If in wanting to needy escape, be sure of the press exit panels on order that is right. To make exit, simply assume launch position over deployed module. That sounds simple enough. I wonder if Joe is okay. I hope he hasn't fallen foul of some horrible death trap. There, that's much better. That doesn't seem to work. Patterns have changed. Open the door. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Huh? 
you again. I didn't think that you would make it this far. I'm impressed. Look, I'm really happy for you. But where's the skull? It is within your grasp. But first, you must give me the key. Key? What key? The key to your lineage. You are the successor to the royal house of Al Maxaquatl, are you not? Of course. I'm Joe Al Maxaquatl, Prince Bahia. Very good. Give me your key, and the skull will be yours. I've got the key to my lineage right here. Yes, and what might that key be? It's the crown that's been in my family for hundreds of years. Ah, the Royal Almaxaquatl headpiece. That's the one. Here. Oops, sorry about that. Do not worry. You have proven that you are the heir. You are worthy to take the skull. Thanks. As a member of the Royal House of Almax Aquatl, I trust that you know what you are doing. Now I must leave. At last, I found it. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Hey, the power's gone off. like I've activated something. Well, here goes nothing. Hmm. It looks like Mr. King has found his way out. Greetings, Mr. King. Ouch! Congratulations on your success. I got the skull. Now you can let the Amazons go free. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd like you to come with me. Great! I'm locked up again! Hello, King. You double-crossing fiend! Let me out of here! I can't do that. You would interfere with my plans. But thanks to you, the shield surrounding the valley is off. Now I have access to all the dinosaurs within. You're mad. You'll never get away with it. Really? And who is going to stop me? The CIA? The IRS? The RSPCA? They laughed at me when I began my genetic research. But now, I'll have the last laugh. <laughs> what are you gonna do with me? Don't fret, Mr. King. I won't waste your life. Needlessly, once I return with fresh dinosaur samples, you'll be the first to be transformed. 
Have you released the Amazons yet? Not yet, but I soon will. Once they have been transformed. <laughs> what do you mean, transformed? All will be revealed soon enough. Why on earth do you need more dinosaurs? The answer is quite simple, Mr. King. Do you know what DNA is? Is it the National Dyslexics Association? Not quite. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. It contains the genetic makeup of all living organisms. Change DNA and you change life itself. You're not mixing dinosaur DNA with human DNA, are you? I'm afraid so, Mr. King. And with pleasing results, too. Soon, I will have an army of dinosaur soldiers at my command. I'll do whatever I can to stop you once I get out of here. How noble of you. Maybe you should try banging your head against the bars to loosen them. Or you could use your knife to dig your way out. <laughs> your sarcasm will be your undoing. I'd really love to stay and talk, but I have a lost valley of dinosaurs to plunder. Perhaps we can continue our conversation when I return. Farewell, King. I'm really beginning to feel like Harry Houdini. Hey, let me out of here! Joe, we finally found you! Hi there, big boy. They? Hello, Joe. Bet you didn't expect to see me, huh? Anderson, what are you doing here? You no good son of a- Get a grip, Joe. He's here to help us. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, get a grip. Why would he want to help us? Because the doctor is insane. He must be stopped at all costs. No kidding? You're a regular genius, you know that? Well, at least I'm smart enough not to be behind bars. <laughs> You're just lucky that I am behind bars, pal. Quit your bickering, you two. He started it. I did not. We have to find a way to get this door open. Yeah, maybe there's a crowbar or something in this cupboard. A crowbar? You'll need more than a crowbar to open this door. Good thinking, Hans. Hans? Your name is Hans? It was my father's name. We don't have time for idle chit-chat. We have work to do. Let's have a look. Hey, there's some kind of gun in here. Biffy. Be careful, Faith. That crazed Dr. Einstein has some deadly toys. Well, this looks pretty deadly. Maybe I can blow the lock off the door. Okay. Let's give it a go. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why don't you think it's a good idea, Joe? Are you afraid? No. I'm just concerned for your, uh, safety. Yeah, right. Well, you better stand back. I don't believe it! It dissolved the entire door! Just as well. This thing has burnt out. Well, Faye, we've got to get a move on. Why the hurry? Hans has to fly the Zeppelin into the valley. If we don't get back to the hangar, Einstein may get suspicious. 
We've done all we can, Joe. You've got to find some way into the valley and stop Ironstein before it's too late. I'll try. You guys be careful now, okay? We will. Good luck, Joe. Yes, King. Good luck. This isn't my day. Now I have to find some way into the valley. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this alcohol. Sure thing, son. May I see your ID, please? My ID? Yeah, ID. You have ID, don't you, son? Yeah, sure. I've got it right here. See? Hmm. You were born on the 13th of July, 1922, huh? That's right. How old are you, then? How old am I? I'm, uh... I'm 26. Okay, but this card doesn't have your name on it. Of course it doesn't. I've just changed my name to Joe King, and I haven't got my new ID card through yet. Yeah, right. Okay, you can have the alcohol. Gee, thanks a lot. Remember, drinking doesn't make you big or clever, and never drive an automobile while under the influence. Thanks for the public service announcement, Bob, but I am an adult. If I put these two pieces of paper together, I can see the complete blueprint on the back. Kidding? This stuff costs money. You kidding? This stuff costs money.
It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's Pocket Rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas. This thing looks like Commander Rocket's jetpack. And according to those blueprints, it takes a quarter gallon of gas. I'll try that much. Well, here goes nothing. Ow! My head hurts! I'm so glad you could drop in, Joe. I knew that you'd make it. Faye, what are you doing here? I hitched a ride with Anderson in the airship. My God! That's a dinosaur! It's a living, breathing dinosaur! That's right, King! Welcome to the Valley of the Mist! Where are the others? They're with Dr. Ironstein. He has no idea that you're here, so you have the advantage of surprise. Great. Maybe I can scare him to death. You'll think of something. I told Frank that I needed to powder my nose, so I better get back. Powder your nose? Come on, follow me. If I get out of this alive, I'm taking a long vacation. Faye? Where are you, Faye? Oh, great. Now I've lost Faye. And this dinosaur is in my way. Lucky for me, she's a vegetarian. Here you go, girl. That should keep her occupied. Wow! More dinosaurs! Damn! I scared them away! Now where's he gone? They both left in a hurry. I wonder why. 
I have a feeling that I'm about to find out. That's one mean looking dinosaur. I hope this guy is scared of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, that's taking care of him. At last, I have made it into the valley. Hold it right there, Einstein. King, how did you get here? That's not important. What is important is that I put a stop to your sinister plans. Put a stop to my plans? My dear King, you are going to help me fulfill them. Watch out, Joe. He has a portable dino ray gun. That's right, King. One shot, and you'll be transformed into a mindless dinosaur. Threaten me all you want. I won't be a party to your evil deeds. Perhaps I can persuade you by threatening the lovely Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do whatever you ask. Just don't hurt her. Come here, King. I have something for you. This is the Crystal Skull. What do you want me to do with this? I want you to place it in that statue over there. That doesn't sound too bad. There, I put the skull in. Now what? Holy cow! It worked! Just as legend said! All systems functional. Unit compliance initiated. Huh? I don't get it. What is this thing? That thing is the most powerful device on the face of the Earth! I was designed by the creators of this valley to help construct and protect the shield. With it leading my army of dinosaur people, I shall be invincible. And nothing will stop me from taking over the world! Uh-oh. I only obey the activating unit. Hey, that's me. Oh, well, in that case, King, I must destroy you. Thanks for saving my life. I was just doing my job. Good lord, what happened? My crystalline structure amplified the intensity of his weapon. Is that bad? It means that he now has powers equal to mine. I must stop him. <laughs> Oh my god! They're fighting! You gotta do something, Joe! Hurry! Before they kill each other! I'll try and get Frank in my sights.
Here goes nothing. He deflected the ray. You've got to turn Fay back to normal. Okay, I'll give it a go. Nice one, Joe. Sorry, Fay. Excuse me, Fay. Yes, Joe. I'd like you to turn your mirror around. What on earth for? So that when Frank deflects the ray, it will bounce off your mirror. Oh, I get it. Then I won't get zapped into a dinosaur. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thanks, Faye. Now to get Frank in my sights. You're gonna go again. Well, that didn't do much good. Darn. Sparky sure does make a cute dinosaur. Yeah, but he's not much use as a Triceratops. Feel so mellow. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I got an idea how to stop you from getting zapped by the dino ray. What's your idea? Do you want me to move? No, no, no. Put this mask on. Okay. Its shiny surface should deflect the beam. So just sit tight, little buddy, okay? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, sorry, Sparky. But you should have gone before we left. Now to get him in my sights. Hasta la vista, Frank. You did it! You destroyed Dr. Einstein! I couldn't have done it without you guys helping me. I am awaiting further orders. I think it's best if we leave this place. Is there any way you can restore the valley shields? I could channel the energy from the crystal skull back into them. But the skull would have to remain here with me in the valley. That's not such a bad idea. It might just keep out crazies like Frank. I want you to do it. By your command. But what about the dinosaurs? We could make a lot of money out of them. Some things are best left in the past, Faye. Is it over? Did I miss anything? I'll tell you all about it later, Sparky. Okay, guys. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, King. It looks like you've saved the world. Maybe I was wrong about you, Joe. With Frank gone, the world is a much safer place. If only he'd used his powers for niceness, instead of evil. Look! The shield has been restored. The valley is safe again, but for how long? Don't worry, Joe. The Amazon jungle has been untouched for thousands and thousands of years. I'm sure it will remain untouched for thousands more. Well, Princess, I ought to be getting you home. But, Joe, I want to stay with you.